So we're about to go on an adventure in my studio. So I have supplies in here that I have forgotten about for a really long time, and I'm gonna hunt for them. And I don't know what they are. We'll find out when I see them, I guess. But I'm gonna take all my forgotten art supplies and make some sort of piece with it. I think y'all already caught me in my pajamas, you know, <laughs> the YouTuber life. Whatever, who's gonna see me? All right, um, we're gonna explore this shelf, but oh, 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 I have another thing. All right, first thing we got here are these drawers. I have not gone through them in a while, so what we find might be interesting. As I said, I'm on the hunt for stuff I pretty much never use. Hmm. Oh my goodness. These are Copic at you spick up pens. They're like glittery Copics, basically. I haven't used these in ages. Oh my goodness. This is my high school pencil case. <laughs> Ew. Dude, this thing was like once the best, but now the worst, kind of. We're taking this whole bag. This is interesting. Okay. This is our stuff so far. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, 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 look at that. So I did a video recently with these Copics and I talked about supplies being on the bottom. And I remembered in one of these cubbies, there's like a bunch of stuff I never touch. So let's look at what that is. All right, well, I definitely haven't used this stuff in like years. <laughs> Strathmore Bristol paper. I'm pretty sure I've had this for a really long time. So we're gonna use it. What's in here? A pink chalk marker, tritone stuff. Oh my goodness. This is an electric eraser. We're using it. This is another old pencil pouch. Whoops. So we're gonna look through this. I'll just sit it over here. My current one is under the desk with all my shoes <laughs> that I painted. Well, this is gonna be interesting because I have not used this pencil case probably in like a year and a half. We'll find out what's in it. Um, some really old crusty supplies that are from like 2008 right here. I'll give you guys a little tour, okay? Let's go. Whoa, this is from back like before I used Copics a lot. I would take these with me everywhere. <laughs> what is this? Oh my word. Okay, this has to be when I lived at my old apartment then, which was two years ago. Ew. Hey, look, I found a pencil. That's good. Oh, I got a fancy pencil. Okay, these admittedly aren't very old, but I did forget I had them. <laughs> Seriously, I have so many ballpoint pens and all this stuff. There's even more like laid out here. This tells me a lot of this stuff is from like college or high school. <laughs> um, some of it is newer, you've seen in some videos, like these graphics pens. It's better to use this stuff up than let it go to waste, right? It's all perfectly good art supplies to me. I want her to have some hair kind of inspired by Petite Doll on Instagram. She does like some really cool makeup and hairstyles. So I kind of like those straight across bangs that she does in her pictures. So we're gonna go for that. But obviously do my own thing. Does this thing still work? Let's find out. Here's my eraser. <gasps> oh, it does. <laughs> I feel so powerful. This also makes me feel like we're at the dentist. Like, open up. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. I'm sure you know what's going on right now. I'm not gonna address it, but I just want to say, let's have a positive, fun time together. So with that being said, if you have art supplies that maybe you forgot about, or maybe you have a full junk drawer, go search it, like right now, if you want, and make some art with me, with our old art supplies. I think this this is a really fun activity to do together. If you do this, tag me on Instagram because I love scrolling through that tag and seeing your guys' stuff. It's a cool way to feel connected, so yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I totally thought these were Prisma colors earlier in the video. <laughs> They're Windsor Noon. Ooh, if I remember right, this thing is forgotten for a reason. It used to explode a lot. Ooh, so satisfying. Ooh, should we use this Expo marker? You're gonna have bright red lips. Well, this is anticlimactic. I thought it would be like bright red. Nope. Not on paper. <laughs> Needs some shading. Let's see what we can do with these tricolored pencils. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh boy. My old forgotten sharpener. We have a lot of stuff done on the face now. I found a brown pen, that's sweet. Ooh, what is this? Oh my goodness, this is a double-ended ginormous pencil. Girl, we are using this, definitely using this. I kinda want her to have like really rosy cheeks <laughs> to complement her lipstick color. I wonder if I can smooth some of this out here with a, another tri-colored pencil. This is challenging, guys. I don't have, like, really many normal pencils in here. Like... <gasps> oh my goodness, this girl reminds me of somebody from Vampire Diaries. Ah, I forget her name. Comment down below if you know who I'm talking about. I forget who it is, though. Literally, like, shading the face with this, this is rough. I mean, like, do you see that? I don't really get a choice on which color I get. I just get all three of them, randomly. We're busting out the Crayolas. I don't care. Let's do some fixing up here. Ooh, okay, this is sprucing things up. I like it. Okay, I think I want to do something like cool and fun for the background. Maybe something bold. First, we're going to take this electric eraser and clean up the sketch marks. Oh my goodness, we didn't even use this. Sharpened by the one and only strongest nostril in the world. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle All the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go You know, these things are cool in theory But I, I think I just prefer traditional watercolor Like I'm leaving all the bad and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it Go, go, go Running into better times Go, go, go From my emotions out Go, go, go Running into better times To better times To better times Okay, I fixed a couple things with this mixed media piece. It's kind of hard to tell, but I did some highlights with the hair. Very minimal. I think now I'm going to go in with these glittery markers and just add some little touches, you know? Alright, this was cool. This was cool. Let's do something else. All right, I'm thinking something a little different, okay? Let's see what we can do. I 
I thought some like sort of apothecary bottle would sound fun, you know, do some cute little vintagey thing. But then I did these handles and we're gonna get playful, okay? They're gonna be ears. It's gonna be like a potion of hearing. Okay, um, my husband does Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> and he's looking for potion ideas right now. So maybe he'll use this in his storyline. Have a surprise for you. Ready? Okay, come, come over here. Okay, don't look under my hand, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'm making something for you. All right. Because you asked me the other day for potion ideas on Neopets. <laughs> oh. So okay, he DMs. I already said that. And he needs potion ideas for his Dungeons and Dragons game. I made you a good one, and I think you'll like it. I'm ready. This sounds great. I'm not done drawing it. Okay, but I am so proud of this. Like, I've been tooting my own horn. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Potion of hearing. And then they drink it, and they can hear conversations from far away to see if somebody's a good or a bad guy. Except the only thing is their ears get really big for a while, so they look really funny afterwards. You like, I like it? that, yeah. That's great. Okay, cool. That's Will you idea. use it? Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I got into his game. <laughs> That's cool. It doesn't exist in the game that I know of. Critical Role should hire me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Obviously. Yay! <laughs> I'm so proud of this. This was really fun to make. It's so out there compared to my huge, but this whole video is just about having fun. We are on day three now, like my mug. We are still using our forgotten art supplies. I don't know what I even want to draw right now. I'm honestly <laughs> kind of over these supplies, but uh, I feel like doing a third project, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna just take this little piece of paper. Well, it dawned on me that we have some items. Are these the same exact marker? What are the odds that I would have two of the same marker? I don't know. Maybe they were gifts. Just gonna advertise my merch right here, but this is a blubble fly. If you want this pin, go to mirabyler.com. Just a couple nose doodles with this fun pencil. Sometimes you get a dud. All right, I think we've used just about every art supply here. Well, I guess you could say we did some art. <laughs> Most of this stuff was just fun doodly things, not like a serious big art project. But you know what? Sometimes we just need some lighthearted things to brighten the mood a little. So I hope that did it for you. All right, a little bit of recap. We have this. This is pretty fun. Different than my usual style, I would say. But I explored, I doodled with a lot of weird art supplies. <laughs> These are not going to be in my normal rotation of supplies. I can say that in all honesty. Here's my little potion of hearing. I was really proud of this one, so I hope you like it too. Doodled a couple noses, and we did this quick little bubble fly. I might also try to do two videos a week here and there. I just want to spread positivity right now, so yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. 
I love you guys so, so much, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.